So we didn't do too well last time in bounty hunter mode, but uh, luckily I got some great advice from everyone in the comments. Don't use ion beams, use ion beams, use missile launchers, use cannons, use lasers, use shields. I don't know who to believe, so let's just, let's just try things. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Cosmeteer and we are back at another attempt at Bounty Hunter mode. Last time went absolutely terrible because I really have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but I got some advice, some of it sounds good, a lot of it conflicts with what sounds good, but also kind of sounds good. So I don't really know what I'm going to be doing in this episode, but one of the things that sounds good no across the board is to get the starting ship and go into blueprint mode and just delete the entire starting ship. That way I should have a lot more money to deal with and I can build a better design to start off with. Now, one thing that I'm curious to try, which is like one of the more simple things, is somebody said missile launchers, a couple of people said missile launchers absolutely dominate in early game. And one person recommended to try just missile launchers, like a missile launcher as my starting ship. Uh, so we're gonna try that. We're gonna see if this works. So I'm just gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna take a missile launcher here. We're just gonna put a missile launcher down. All right, let's try this. 23,000, so we only have 1,200 left. Oh, this just looks weird. Now I'm very skeptical whether or not this is going to be effective. Uh, it seems like this is extremely vulnerable having only one weapon. And as soon as it gets hit, we're, we have no- we have nothing left. So let's go and attack a ship and see how this works. And if this- Why are you- that's not the direction- here, turn- Turn around. This is your front. Yes, that's your front. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is what we're dealing with. Ooh, he's somebody with a big cannon. I don't know if we can even aim our missiles at all, but I'm gonna try to have them aim for the cannon. And then after the cannon, we're gonna aim for the reactor core. Alright. Let's see how this works out. Whoop, let's uh, turn it down a little bit. Oh, we got a couple of missiles already going. Uh, his cannons are already at us. We're loot. We don't have any people manning our missiles right now. What's going on? Did any of those missiles even hit? Uh, all right, there we go. We got another missile. Come on, hit him, hit him. Did that even... Did that even destroy the thing? That was like a direct hit, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Target defeated. Whoop, then there goes the other missile going on. Okay, that was a that was a good start. How did we take any damage? How much damage did we take? 417. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. All right, so now I'm going to add some armor. Or no, we should probably add some more weapons here. Let's just add some more weapons here. A shield generator is something that we didn't use before. And a lot of you are saying that we should have shield generators. So maybe I'll do that now. You know, I'm gonna put this shield generator right... We're gonna get rid of these. And we're gonna put a shield generator right here. And we're gonna get rid of these. And do we have enough to put a shield generator right here? 13,000, but we do not have nearly enough crew to run this. You know what, now I'm gonna get rid of these. All right, now we have 9,000. So now we can hire some more crew. 13,000, but now we don't have any backwards thrusters. 14, oh, I have enough for that one backwards thruster. That's it. You know what, I'm gonna deal with it. We have shields, we don't need, we don't need that much maneuverability as long as we can keep ourselves straight on with this thing. Whoa, whoa, we're already fighting. I was just trying to get our people all situated here and somebody actually just came in and started to fight us. So you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and attack this guy here. All right, let's see how this goes now. He shouldn't be able to get through our shields. All right, we're already right into him. Come on, get those missiles going. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, get that core, get it, get it. Look how fast he's spinning. There he goes, okay. I gotta admit this is starting to work out better than expected. I wasn't expecting much at first there. I thought we were just like gonna be done. We definitely need some crew closer to these uh, uh, shield generators probably. All right, now we have enough to add some more of these thrusters that I've been waiting for. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look at that, 12,475 for this change that I wanna make and we only have 12,347. Man, that's like just over a hundred that we're missing. 
So I moved the control panel to the back, and I put some more cruise quarters, so we're a little bit better on cruise quarters. We're going to have to expand for some more um, energy at some point, but so far we're doing okay. I think I might have to delete... Yeah, we're just going to delete some more of the outside thrusters for now, and I think we're just going to deal with this in the meantime. Get our last thing in this planetary system here. All right, and we're just going to aim straight for the reactor core this time. And we're gonna see how this goes. There goes the missiles. And they're going right to the back, that's interesting. Oh, they've just knocked off an arm, but the arm is still shooting at us, that's not good. But it's okay, we still have, we still have our shields up, and that is done right now. There we go, target defeated. All right, this is working out okay. Missiles are actually pretty devastating, it looks like, so I think we might be okay, kinda. All right, so we defeated everybody around this planet. I th oh, I don't have an FTL drive. We're gonna have to do that right now. I totally forgot about the FTL drive. Where am I gonna put an FTL drive? How much do I have? I have 12,000, an FTL drive costs 10,000. So that's like everything. So I guess I'll just put it, oh, I don't even know where to put it. I don't have anywhere to put it. I guess I can put it right here for now, but then I have to move this. Man, we really need some more cash so we can start adding more uh, energy and crew, though. All right, let's let's uh, let's hop up to our galaxy map here. All right, let's stick. We're going to go to the amateur area over here. We're going to stay away from the professional areas for now, because I think that's where we died last time. That was a bad idea. All right, let's go ahead and speed things up here. Engage. Pew. Pew. All right. We are in... The new, the new planet, the new planet system here. All right, what are we dealing with? We got four people. Let's go ahead and attack this guy, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. All right, here we go. Let's uh, tell our ship we're gonna keep our distance as much as possible. We have a pretty big range, so I think if we just keep our distance back here, we should be okay. All right, let's see how things go with this guy right here. There goes the missiles. Oh, let's get the reactor core. Aim for the reactor core, please. Wait, shouldn't you be keeping your distance? Why are you so close to him right now? You are supposed to be keeping your distance from this guy. There. Shouldn't you be moving back now? Oh, he's- I guess he's just coming with us. He has the same speed as us. Whoa, our shield is getting a little bit low, I think. Is that what the red means? Whoa, oh, he's got point defense? Uh-oh. That's actually- that's a big issue. He's breaking through. I didn't expect somebody to have point defense at the amateur level. This is not good. This is really not good. We gotta get through that point defense. I should start putting, be putting other things other than missiles. I've learned my lesson a little bit too late though, but our shields are still active, and I think he has nothing other than point defense right now, so that's good at least. We're still getting through to him. Oh no, he does, he has a laser. He has that laser there. All right, come on. You can do it, get through that point defense. We're doing it. All right, I think we I think we broke his point defense on this side, so I think we're okay. No, stop going to the other side, missiles. That's where the point defense is. Stupid missiles, just go straight. Go straight to the re- Yes. Yes. There it is. Okay. Um, lesson learned. I need something other than missiles in case we encounter more point defense. So we're gonna use the 16th- Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Repair. Repair. Ugh. We are on fire. That was bad. Okay, I caught it though. I think we're okay. I think we've repaired everything. Oh, you guys are probably cringing at me so bad right now. I am so oblivious to everything that's going on. It's hard when you're a YouTuber, you know, and you're recording. Oh, somebody's coming near us. Somebody's coming near us. Let's hurry up and build uh, some alternate weapons before it is too late. We're gonna put some small lasers on the outside of this thing, but we need more energy. How much we have? This is gonna make it 4,000. Um... I have 7,000 left. That is not enough for a reactor core. Reactor core costs 15,000. All right, we're just going to have to deal with having uh, suboptimal levels of energy and people. Hopefully, after we destroy this guy, we can add another reactor core, like over here, and maybe some more people we can fill in in these areas and move the thrusters back down. But for the sake of maneuverability and hopefully being able to stay away from people, let's use the money that we have to add a little bit more backwards thrust. Yeah, we have enough for that. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this guy's moving in. We're gonna go ahead and aim straight for- right, we want that cannon to be- well, that cannon shouldn't be able to get through our shields. You know what, let's just- let's aim for the cannon and the reactor core. Alright, now let's see what's gonna happen here. 
All right. Whoa, he's going in close. Hold on a sec. I want you to be attacking from. Oh, I guess. Hmm. Does he have any? Does he have any point defense? I'm not seeing any point defense, so I'm going to tell my ship to keep his distance back here. So hopefully we can stay out of the range of him. And it doesn't look. Oh, we are. We're starting. We're starting to. Uh, we're starting to break some distance here. So that's good. All right. I think we got this. Yeah, we got this. There he goes. He's pretty much disarmed now. We're good. We are good. And there he goes. All right, sweet. 13,000, we have 19,000. That leaves us enough for another reactor core. I'm actually, this is starting to work, guys. I think this is starting to work. So I'm gonna take a reactor core. We're gonna put it right here behind the shield. That should help out with that. And we're gonna take some storage. I guess we'll put some storage over here. Can I afford this? 2,000, 17,000? Yeah, we can just barely afford that. We need more crew though. We're gonna make that so. And then we're going to add some bunks uh, here. Can't afford any more crew. All right, we're gonna have to deal with it. Next time is the crew upgrade. All right, what are we dealing with? All right, this guy should be easy. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight for his reactor core. We're going to tell our ship to keep his distance though. All right, let's see how this plays out. Nope, that's not the reactor core. Go inside. The missiles seem extremely inaccurate sometimes. Like even though it's a straight shot almost, it's like they just go around it instead. Yeah, these shields are super helpful. I don't know why I was ignoring shields before. That was stupid. I was just stupid for ignoring those shields, but we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Now we should be able to afford some more crew. So I'll actually just, I'll just put this crew. Where do we need more crew? I guess I'll put it over here. Can we put more here? 11,000. Oh, we can, but that got rid of some of our, that got rid of all of our forward thrusters. So let's see if we can add the forward thrusters as well. 1,500. Well, if that, no, we can't do that. What if we do small thrusters? I feel like backwards thrust is actually more important for battles. Like getting somewhere, yeah, it'd be nice to have forward thrust where we can just speed up, but backwards thrust is what's gonna keep our distance. So I think I'm okay with uh, with uh, lessening the forward thrust so we can have more crew for now. Then we can add more other thrust once we get more cash. All right, let's go attack this last guy. We're gonna see, oh, well now that we have, uh, oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Now that we have the forward thrust being weaker, our ship wants to turn around to get there in the fastest way possible. But we're gonna have our ship turn back around, hopefully, by the time it gets there. All right, here it comes, and pause. So here is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna take this. Oh, okay, it is It is going to be facing forward naturally, but we are going to move it back here. Wait, does he have any point defense? Oh, he's got a big cannon. He's got a big cannon. I hope, oh, you know what? We might be able to take his core out really quick. Let's. Let's do the core and the cannon. Curious about this. All right, we've turned around. His cannon is after us. Oh, can those missiles get it? Ah, oh, whoa, we got the cannon. That's good. Those missiles were aiming for the core, I'm pretty sure, but we still managed to get the cannon. All right, the core is still there. He's still, oh, and we're good. Target defeated. We have, yeah, we didn't even get touched. This is excellent. I'm liking this. This is working out really well. We've defeated another system. The closest things now are professional systems. It might be worth it to avoid them and find another another star system or another galaxy that has amateur that we can do. So we might be considering that. But let's see what other upgrades we can make now. We got 16,000. Let's get rid of these. Let's add some large thrust in here. How much do these cost? 4,000? Yeah, we can do that. There we go. All right, we're doing pretty good on crew and stuff now, so I'm actually going to add. I think missiles might be better off on the sides though, because I don't, I don't think missiles need a line of sight to the, uh, to the enemy in order to fire. So we might want to change that. We're gonna add some electro bolts. We need some electro bolts just in case we encounter somebody else with shields. It'd be good to have some electro bolts. Now we're running out of energy and stuff again, but we don't really have enough. How about a little bit more crew though? Put some crew there. Some crew here. Nope, we can only afford one more thing of crew. All right, we're gonna do this. We have $65 left. That is cutting it close. Let's see where else we can go. So yeah, I'm definitely not gonna go to there. All right, this is another, yeah, we have some more options for amateur. So let's go over here. All right, we're in another amateur galaxy. Let's see how we do. And we've encountered our first ship in this planet. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna be okay. Oh, he has some point defense, so we might have to get in closer to this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my ship to be right here. That way we can also attack him with our lasers. All right, now let's see 
what happens. All right, come on, get that laser. All right, laser's gone. I think we're pretty much good now. We just gotta go in to that, uh, to the reactor core, and he's done. All right, that was good. Now let's see if we can add some more energy to this thing. We need 15,000 for more energy, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Let's add some more crew then. Gonna add a little bit more crew here and here. That costs 5,000. All right, it should help though. All right, now let's go over to this guy. We're gonna see what this guy has to say about us. Ooh, he's got an electro bolt, so he can get through our shields a lot easier than anybody else can. So we're gonna prioritize that, then we're gonna go for his reactor core. He's also got point defense, so we're gonna have to get closer to this guy. So we're gonna stay right there. All right, let's go ahead and hope for the best. All right, come on, get his point defense. Get his point defense. We are definitely targeting that point defense well. Oh, he got through one of our shields. All right, his point defense is gone though, but our, one of our shields is down. We're eating through, he has no more weapons left. We got this. Man, we just ate right through the middle of him. That was excellent. All right, now we have enough for some more energy. We also got a re well, he only did 100 in damage, even though he got through one of the shields. That's kind of, that's impressive actually. You know what, I need some more, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move some stuff around. I want some more energy behind this other, uh, what should we call it? This other shield generator. So we're gonna get rid of these things for now. So we can put that there. We're gonna put a bigger thing of crew right next to that. And a small thing of crew right there. How are we doing? 12,000 out of 24. That's good, we need our FTL drive back though. So I'm gonna put our FTL drive right here and then move the control panel or the control room down a little bit. Oh, we're at 25. All right, if I get rid of that, we're back at 22,000, so that's okay. But now, we, now we're now we good on energy and people. I'm going to add some shielding right here as well. So just in case he actually gets through us again, gets through our shields, we're gonna have a little bit more protection over here. Gonna make it look kind of intimidating with these spiky bits. All right, I think it looks cool. We're at 23,000, let's make it so. It's an interesting shape ship. It's an interesting shaped ship, ship, shape, big ship. All right, we got two more ships here. Let's go ahead and attack this one. See if we can clear out this planet. Oh, these guys are close to each other. That makes me uncomfortable. What's this guy got? He's got two lasers and no point defense. So we are just going to uh, keep our distance for this guy. We're gonna go back here and see how this works. All right, there goes our missiles. Come on, guys. Wait, no, we should be moving backwards. Move backwards, keep your distance. All right, we're, we're golden. We're golden, he has no idea. Look, <laughs> he has no idea what's going on. He's just getting knocked all over the place. That is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, that was great. All right, you know what? I'm feeling so confident. I'm not even gonna add anything. I'm just going to go straight to the next guy, and we're just gonna demolish him right now. He's got no point defense, but he has cannons. So for this guy, we're just gonna go straight for his reactor core, but we're going to keep our distance. So hopefully, hopefully we don't get too damage to our sh too much damage to our shields. Come on, back up, back up. All right, we're, oh nice, we're actually breaking in through the back. That was excellent. Our shields, I mean, our uh, missiles went right around and into the back at a more direct route to the to the reactor core or a quicker route to the reactor core. So that was good. All right, now we have 28,000 and we have to jump to another star system. So let's jump first, see what we're dealing with. Yeah, there's another amateur over here. Let's go ahead and jump over here. There we are, what are we dealing with? We got four people in here. All right, now let's see what kind of upgrades do I want to make? Uh, I'm thinking about making a pretty drastic change, but you know what? We're still in an amateur system, so I'm gonna rack up some extra cash. We're gonna, you know, and I'm actually gonna put some point defense. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put some point defense right in the front here on these things. I'm gonna put point defense right there. Point defense there is useless because we can't, we can't get anything up here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rack up some... Uh, some cash, so we're gonna have a bigger pool of cash, and then I'm going to actually move this entire section We're gonna move it to either side. We're gonna duplicate it and move it to either side So that's why I need the extra cash because it's gonna cost a lot So we're gonna have missiles on the sides, and I'm gonna replace this area with an ion beam We're gonna have an ion beam right in the middle in the front and yeah So then we'll have I think a lot more of a you know what screw the ion beam 
Iron Beam didn't do good for us before. We're gonna go with a cannon. We're gonna go with a large cannon. So we're gonna have the lasers on the sides here at the front. We're gonna have missiles on the sides facing out sideways because I think they could just shoot out to the side. And then we're gonna have a big cannon right in the front that is protected by the shields. So that's why we're gonna need some cash. So hopefully I can just destroy these four people without having to make any adjustments. So let's go for it. This guy looks new. He's got point defense, he's got a standard cannon. I'm not too worried about him. We're just gonna go reactor core and cannon. We don't need to keep our distance for this guy. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, we're gonna go right in the back there with those missiles. Oh, right into the reactor core almost. All right, we're doing good. Our shields are holding strong. He's not doing any damage to us. Yeah, golden, we are golden. All right, well that was easy. Let's go on to the next guy. He didn't even do any damage to us, so we're we're good. Point defense and a single laser. No problem. Just do it. Just do it. His point defense is doing pretty good, to be honest. But he's not gonna get through those shields. Target defeated. Let's head over to the next target. Uh oh, okay, so this is a guy with an electro bolt. So we're gonna wanna actually get, and he has point defense. So we're gonna wanna get in close. We're gonna wanna take out that electro bolt right away. And then we can go for the reactor core. All right, come on, get the, get the electro bolt. How's he doing? Oh, he's about to take out a shield. He took out one shield, but the electro bolt is now gone. So he's not gonna take out the other shield, I don't think. All right, now we're golden. Yep, we are good. No damage, even though he took out a, even though he took out a shield, he actually didn't do any damage after taking out the shield, it looks like. All right, good job. We have one more ship left. Let's go over there. Yeah, there goes his cannon, and we're going into the reactor core now. Wow, we're taking out everything except the reactor core. The reactor core was like the last thing to go for that. All right, we have 84,000 to deal with. Is that enough to make all the changes that I want to make? So basically, I want to do this. We're gonna delete all this stuff. And I just want to pretty much copy this. We're gonna delete that. All right, we're gonna leave that right there for now. Um, we also kind of have to get rid of this. All right, so now we can deal with this. I'll put that over here. Okay, so now here is what we have to do. We got to prioritize the front here for a cannon, a big cannon. We're gonna put this ammo factory here. We're gonna put ammo storage here. I'm gonna put some more crew right here. And then we're gonna put the large cannon on top of that. All right, now I'm gonna take this. Where do I wanna put, I guess I could put this right here. Oh wait, no, I have to use symmetry mode so I can mirror it. So we're gonna just do that, take off symmetry mode. Now I can just move this right here. Then I can highlight this one and move it right here. All right, this is looking good, this is looking good. Now we can take this. Enable symmetry mode. I'm just gonna put it right like that. There we are. I'm gonna put some beds behind those things. Now we need some more backwards thrust again. How much? Oh, we're at 73,000. This is getting close. This is getting close. We need point defense. I'm gonna put a point defense there. 83,000 out of 84,000 for these new adjustments. I hope this works. I hope this is a good design. Let's make it so. Let's make sure everything is getting power and ammo. All right, looking good so far. I think we're okay. I hope I have this organized well. I'm hoping that these uh, these missiles are able to shoot out to the side. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm betting. This whole design bets on the fact that missiles can shoot out to the sides when we get close to an enemy. So. We still have our FTL drive, so that's good. So let's jump to another amateur system. Let's jump to the, this place has two. All right, we got four people here as well. I think these shields should do us, should do us all right. right. Let's go for this guy way over here. It's still an amateur system, so we shouldn't have anything new to deal with. But I just wanna make sure that we're okay. All right, now let's see what we're dealing with here. This guy shouldn't be a big threat. Let's just go straight for his reactor core. Does he have any point defense? He doesn't have any point defense. So let's, all right, now let's see. We're gonna keep our distance. Ooh, that's cool. We actually have a full 360 um, the shooting range now because of those new additions. All right, I like that. All right, here it goes. 
What's the first shot gonna be? The cannon or the missile? Yes, the missiles are coming out from the sides. That's excellent. Now we have two sets of missiles instead of one set, so we should be double as deadly with those missiles. All right, looking good. Our cannon is eating through there pretty well too. There goes the ca oh, the cannon. That cannon shot didn't even get there. I was hoping to watch it go through. All right, let's not even wait. Did he do damage? No, he didn't do any damage. Okay, good. Now let's go on to the next ship. Oh, this guy's gonna be no match at all. You know what? I'm just gonna let my. I'm not, I'm not even gonna position myself. I'm just gonna let him do his thing and see what his full firepower is gonna look like here. Oh, there goes those. I love the way those missiles come out like that. And they come in from the back, too, because of the way that they come out from the sides. They have to go around it. So that's kind of cool. All right. Well, that was easy as well. He didn't, he didn't stand a chance. Let's go to the next one. All right. And, oh, this guy's another easy one. Super, super easy one. All right, this time I want to actually look at the cannon fire. So let's see. Oh, the, did the cannon already fire? He's missing, though. The cannon missed. All right, come on, cannon. Oh, you missed again, cannon. There you go. Oh, the can that was the cannon doing it at that time. The cannon went right into the reactor core. That was epic. All right, and we have one more ship here. And this guy has the electro bolt. So we're just going to prioritize the electro bolt. We're going to get in. I think he has the point defense probably too. Yep. So we're just going to get in close with this guy. And uh, let's see how this does now with the cannon on the electro bolt. Come on, cannon. Do your thing. Fire. There you go. There you go. Wow, we didn't take out the electro bolt yet. There it goes. There goes the cannon. Oh, the cannon is missing. Oh, there it goes. All right. The cannon isn't the most accurate thing of them all, but it should do a lot of damage, and I think it is. But I'm actually surprised at how long this guy is taking to get through. He has, actually, he's like pure armor. Now that I look at it, that would make more sense. All right, let's actually, how about we just aim consciously for the reactor core now? Maybe that's the problem, huh? All the missiles just swarming the thing. That is great. All right. Well, that was easy. No damage done. Uh, let's just head straight to the next amateur. We're just gonna we're just gonna take out all these amateurs. Gonna max out the amount of cash that we have uh, before we go on to a professional thing. All right. We're just gonna do this in super fast. I'm not. I'm gonna play it a little bit risky here. I'm not even gonna look at the ships. I'm just gonna assume that we are good to go. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. All right. That guy's done. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. We're just gonna stay in four times speed here. We're just gonna go ship to ship, presumably demolishing them. Uh, I don't think amateurs have anything to offer our ship right now as far as uh, difficulty or originality. All right, and he's done. Here comes the next one. He's done. All right, here it goes. Last guy, last guy on this planet. Oh, this guy's just getting knocked around everywhere. All right, and he's done. Let's plot our course to, I think, the last amateur uh, location. Staying. We are staying in uh, full speed mode because we're still in the amateur location. I don't think an amateur ship has really damaged us in a long time, so we should be okay. All right, that one's done. Let's go to the next one. That guy's done. Too easy, guys. Too easy. Yeah, he's done. Uh, I might be eating my words though when we go to the professional. I don't know. I don't know how much more difficult professional is going to be for this ship, but I'm hoping that we we built ourselves up pretty well. And also, we're going to have like 200,000 almost. We have 168,000 now to um, to beef up the ship for professional mode. So let's just. I'm going to do one more sweep of the planets to see if we have any more amateur left. It looks like. It looks like we've done all of the amateur. Okay, that's the amateur is done. So I think we're doing so much better this time. So here is, here's what I want, here's how I want to end it. So here you go, this is my ship design right now. The, what I wanna do is I want you to give me advice. What would you do going into the professional? How would you make adjustments to the ship? I have 168,000 to spend. What advice do you have to beef up the ship in, prep, in preparation for the next difficulty level of enemies? We've got three reactor cores. We're just barely at the peak of our crew and energy. Um, how are we doing with missiles? I think the shields are doing okay. I know I can probably put some stuff in front of the shields as well up here. So yeah, uh, let me know what would you do with this design? How would you expand this design? What would you spend your money on? Uh, should I add an ion beam somewhere? 
Let me know about that. I'll be curious to see what your feedback is. And uh, I'll take some of the better ideas, that's the, the ideas that stand out to me, and maybe I'll implement them in the next episode. We'll build our ship and head on into the professional difficulty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Make sure you check the links down in the description for ways to interact with the channel. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>